Okay, so your integumentary system consists of skin and its derivatives. No, never say that word to me again. I hate derivatives. <laughs> what a, what Screw a calculus. <laughs> All right. Um, accessory organs? How about that? So it consists of skin and its derivatives, or we can say accessory organs. So hair follicles and hair, sweat glands. Do you guys remember from eighth grade health what sebaceous glands are? Uh, kind of Secrete oil. <laughs> They're your oil glands. <laughs> um, your nails and mammary glands. Um, Is there a way you can make the background like lighter? I could turn it light off. Skin is known as a cutaneous membrane. Um, you don't have to worry too much about what that means. Just recognize that term in case you see it again. Um, your skin, and I'll show you on the next slide here, constitutes about 15 to 20 percent of your total body mass. Um, Are you going to put this on a. What's that? Yeah, this, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, it. <laughs> So you're, it, there's several layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis, or subcutaneous layer, and that layer has fat, so some people have more fat than others, and some people are just, the larger you are, the more skin you have, because it's got to cover more uh, body surface area. Um, and an average size of skin, if you spread it out, would be about 20 square feet. Okay, so here's what this is. This is a plastinated body. When we go on, when we go on our field trip to Brian, we're going to see plastinated bodies also. These are real cadavers that people have. You take the tissue and carefully, carefully, carefully dissect it, and it goes through a process called plastination, which basically turns the tissue into plastic. No, they won't. They don't want you they touching it because they're really expensive. For the real cadaver, yes, but for this, no. But um, this is probably this is probably from. There's an exhibit that goes around the world called the Bodies Exhibit. Um, I went to it a few years ago in Omaha. But if they if that ever comes around, I really recommend going to that. But um, here's this guy's. Someone had taken off the skin, and now he's holding it very artistically. Um, we can start our list of functions here. Uh, the integumentary system acts as the first line of defense against invading organisms, i.e. bacteria. I think i.e. is a fancy way of, for example... Define desiccation. Okay, retards water loss. It's defined. Oh, retards means slow down. So it prevents. <laughs> okay, actually, here we go. Drying out. Mariah, drying desiccation out. is drying out. <laughs> so it keeps you your body from drying out. It holds water in. So re, retards means to slow down. Um, it resists abrasion. Do you guys know what abrasion means? Yeah, abrasion like, is when it's like the tear of the skin, like the thing that goes through the skin. Yes. Um, so the keratin in your skin um, keratinizes your skin, or keratinization means it resists abrasion. It stops or helps to stop UV radiation through melanin production. So we'll talk... All of these, most of these things we'll talk more about. Um, it produces hair, and your hair has its own functions. It helps to insulate your body, so body hair keeps you warm. Um, another way, just, just having hair keeps you warm, but it also, like the body hair, like on your arms and legs and stuff, will create this layer over your skin and it will trap heat in. Um, so that also helps to insulate. Um, and gives your body coloration which helps for communication. Um, 
Secondary sexual characteristics, so the body hair you get at puberty. And odor retention. If you keep it, uh, the hair is supposed to help to keep you, like, hold in odor so they don't smell don't as bad. Smell bad. Yes, and you... But if you have, like, the hair also produces sweat via the sweat glands. And produces oil via the sebaceous glands. Um, we didn't talk about sweat. We said cools you off. So that might be something to add there with number six. Um, sweat helps you, helps cool you off. So when you sweat, um, heat gets lost with the sweat, and then when the sweat evaporates, it takes the heat with it. Um, oil is actually good to have on your skin. The oil keeps your skin soft and supple and youthful. Keeps it from drying out and wrinkling. Um, obviously, though, we some people suffer from more oil production than others, and then that oil can mix with bacteria and produce acne though. Um, your skin produces mammary glands which is for nursing the babies. Back in the, you know, for, back in the day they didn't always have formula so that was the only way babies could eat. Um, and that's how other mammals feed their young. Um, your skin in the dermis, there's several sensory organs that sense touch, pressure, heat, cold, and movement. Um, there are special little nerve endings called corpuscles. Um, and then when it says capillary beds for number 10, do you guys know what that means? Nope. Capillary is a type of blood vessel. It's really, really like microscopic blood vessel. So blood is in this, the skin and the um, dermis. or And then we'll talk more about A and B, but um, helps to cool you off by radiation. So your blood comes to the surface when you're hot and your skin starts to get red and your blood is bringing, it circulates body heat. So it brings that closer to the surface your blood vessels dilate, brings the heat closer to the surface, so you, it cools you by radiating off that heat from your body. Um, and the blood in your skin also is used with visual communication, like when you're blushing, um, when your skin turns red. Isn't that when the blood 